that'll be a little bit better. Let's see. Dealing with a bunch of drop packets going on. Good thing. Yeah, we've got a little bit of a resolution thing, but honestly, that's okay. The rain. Who knows? Either way, what's good? What's good? Finally done for the day. But in here, but that's cool. Good. Good, what's good? Now trying to do lube some stabilizers. Pretty stoked. It's gonna be a stream that I actually solder on, which is sweet. Let's do it. It should be fun. My first stream actually getting on and soldering up. Even if my stream quality is uh, a little whack as the last couple of minutes. Okay. What we're doing right now is we are moving stabilizer. So it's these little pieces right here. And what this does is you can actually see one mounted on the little KVD pad right here. And it's just a number pad. It's an external number pad. I'll break the whole thing out when we're done. Moving these, plugging them in just to get it prepped. But yeah, basically these things go in and they make sure that more than a single switch sized uh, opening can actually be set with a uh, with a with a key in the stabilizers. Obviously, stabilize switch. Nice. Now. Doing? 
trying to get this thing pushed in. It actually works. It looks like it is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clip the stabilizers in. I have the one, one foot set actually sitting in there pretty nicely. Now I'm going to throw this guy on. Clip them in. These are what you call a PCB mount stabilizer. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Nice, nice. We got two of them in. I got one more, and that's going to go right here for the double zero. So we're good. I'm actually going to take this apart. I need to lube this. So take the wire out as such. Two foots in, or like the this is the housing. Little stabilizer stems. And what I do is I put a very, 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 very light coat on the outside just because the plastic's going to rub up against one. What I'm trying to do is bring that friction down so as this thing moves up and down inside of it, um, yeah, we're able to at least use it and, and, and not hear the scratchiness and the almost like two pieces of plastic or two pieces of metal that are rubbing together. You get like that gritty, gritty sound, that gritty feeling. So we're trying to avoid that. So that's why I'm going to put a little glue on the outsides of this. That's what we're doing right now. Once I get this done, I'm, I'm going to lube the wire, and then I'm going to have that set up, and we should be able to start actually rocking. I should have prepared this beforehand, but we had a nice long day of work today. Not very forgiving. So wasn't able to prepare as much as I would have liked to, but listen, I'm streaming, I don't even have a face cam, the boy isn't doing anything that crazy, these are all part of the practice reps that you need. Uh, what's up guys, I got three people watching this, let's go, that's pretty sweet, definitely three, three friends, hi friends, what's up guys, thanks for watching, I appreciate it, right now, Lubin, the wire oh, my stabilizers that looks pretty good on that one so the wire is going to connect these two together just as such right here and what we're building today is a little number pad so if you look at my keyboard right here you can see that it cuts off where the number pad would usually be and that's unfortunate because i really enjoy having a number pad so bought a separate one i'm actually pretty stoked to use it Definitely stoked to build it. And we're gonna get the soldering iron out tonight. Yeah, see how it goes. This is my first time ever streaming me doing a solder or, or build or anything like that. So I'm pretty excited. What I'm doing right now is I am taking a stabilizer, moving it. I am making sure that it's set correctly. This is what I'm gonna do after this. Mount it on this board, and then we're gonna go for it. Let's get it, Jared. What's up, buddy? Thanks for, dude. Thanks for stream sniping. Thanks for putting this on. I appreciate it, bro. Oh, well, dick fingers over here. Can't even keep the thing in. Dick hands. There we go. That's a little bit better. Hey. Let's see. Let's see if we can get. This. Getting this stabilizer doohickey in. Kind of a bitch. Not exactly easy. But there we go, finally. Woo! So, what's up, guys? I'm gonna be building KBD pad today. I am stoked. Ish, get it, in the words of Jag Dude. My boy right there. And yeah, we're gonna, I already um, tried to flash the firmware on this, got that rock in, which is pretty sweet. Now, I'm just trying to get all of the stabilizers mounted, so there's only three 2U, um, 2U keys on a number pad, so I had to get three stabilizers there. Ah, there we go. You can actually see. 
see. It kind of just clips right through on the side. And that's really nice about this. You just kind of get to clip these things on. And then what we're going to do, we're going to put switches inside of all of these receptacles right here. And we're going to have ourselves a pretty nice number pad. So here, let me break this sucker out for you guys. I'll show you what we're working with. So, what I've got from KVD fans is what they call a KVD pad. And it is this. It's a little number pad. So the number pad's gonna sit inside of here. I'm gonna basically put switches on this. I'm gonna get my solder. I'm gonna start soldering through that. Get to whip that thing open. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I think it should be pretty fun. I've uh I've been doing a little bit more soldering at work, so it's kind of nice that I have that practice. I'm able to just rock into this feeling pretty confident about how it's going to go. Obviously, you never know what's going to happen. I have a couple of unforeseen little, uh, little hiccups occur, but that's all right. Like I said, this is all about me just getting reps, doing this, not trying to stream mechanical keyboards for the rest of my life. I'm hopefully going to stream me building some stuff in the future. Um, by that, well, you know, things like designing. I really want to start going on CAD and actually streaming me on CAD, what I'm doing, kind of my process of how I build something. So anywhere from nameplates to showcase boxes to there's a few different things. Just excited to at least give it a try, but right now we're going to stick to the thing that's my hobby, and that is mechanical keyboards. We're going to build those and get some practice. So, yeah, what's good? Also, bang, it's time. Getting a stainless stream if I'm not drinking a Coors Light. I'm gonna not be as heavy of a shill as I was beforehand, but you know that your boy is out here trying to uh, get everyone to drink Coors Light. So if you're at home, Jack dude, you especially, pop a Coors Light, get this thing rolling. That's be a good stream. So, things that I need for this. Um, so anytime that you're building something, right, um, obviously this looks like just a bare PCB. And if you look at the underside, it's way scarier. That's where all the chips are. I'm going to do a little engineering lesson. It's going to take all of four seconds. But each one of these little components is a different electrical thing. So these white pads right here, those are LEDs. So when I plug this in, they're going to shine bright. Um, there's small little black things right here. Each one of those is a resistor. Or a diode, I'm not totally sure, but I think each of those is a resistor. And then you got like capacitor, you've got an IC chip, and that does all of the like processing for as you're actually hitting buttons and shit. It's pretty cool. So that's your engineering lesson for the day. Everyone can go go and say, you know what, I learned something today. And even if you didn't learn something, tell me you learned something. That way I feel a little bit better about myself. That's what we're all about here. So yeah, we're going to need that. I'm going to need 20 switches, maybe 21. I didn't count, but in my head, I think that it's 21 switches. So what I'm going to do is I already lubed uh, 90 Holy Pandas from Drop. That took me literally multiple hours to just get through 90 because lubing switches is kind of like pulling your hair out. But kind of a therapeutic version of pulling your hair out. So I did that already. I, I kind of did practice streams and... Was just lubing switches, talking, making sure that audio levels and stuff kind of matched up, and they seem to have been, which was pretty great. So now what we're trying to do is get this thing populated. So basically, as you can see, these switches will fall inside of their respective receptacles, which is a bit of a mouthful. As you can see, that slides in, and you can actually see switch leads that are coming through and there's one other thing that i probably haven't shown so here i'll get all of the all the ingredients out right now just to kind of show you what it is so the case obviously that's the aesthetic part it's what we actually give a crap about pcb and then a plate and what a plate does is it makes sure that everything is stable when you're actually putting these switches on right so if i just had this switch sitting inside of there you can actually see this thing would be moving tons. It would actually get a little bit, you know, out of control. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a plate on it. That way, when you put this switch in, you see how it fits nice and snug in there. It actually has like a perfect mate. Now it doesn't move side to side. And I can put this plate right over the stabilizers and everything. I'll mount inside of the switch. I can see switch holes coming through. 
and then I'll basically just solder on this on this underside and we should have a pretty complete board. This will then go inside of our housing. Once it's inside of the housing, we've got ourselves actually a, you know, a nice pre-built little thing. So that's what we're going to be doing today. But what I'm going to first do is I'm going to check and make sure that the firmware that loaded onto the board is accurate and actually working. So something's going to pop up on the screen. I think it's going to be top right, maybe. There it is. So you're not going to be able to see some of the stuff here, but what I want to do is plug in my PCB and test it, actually. So anytime that you buy electrical equipment, uh, the first thing that you should do is you should make sure that that electrical equipment that you just spent your nice hard-earned money on actually works. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I have USB coil, USB-C, obviously USB receptacle. And like I said, those little white things are the LEDs on this. When I plug this in, you'll probably see that this white or those white boxes are gonna glow some color. We'll see. Oh yeah, I don't even want to show the camera because it's gonna hurt. Eh, it's not that bad. But bang, look at that. And as you can see in the top right, I've got this cool program that's called Via, and that is set up and configured. And what that does is it allows me to test and see if all of the, um, basically the metal connections are operable and running. So what I do is I take a pair of tweezers like this, and I go to the actual metal inserts, so the receptacles that I'm going to be plugging in my switches to. So when I solder, they're actually gonna go through right there. And what I'm doing is just checking to see if they are making a good connection. So I think that I'm not a key tester, so let me do this real quick. Um, so on the right-hand side, it might not all populate over there, but you'll see like some of my um, keys are going to be escape and stuff. So what I'll do first is I am going to basically go from the bottom up, and you can see they should turn red. So that's the zero key. That's the double, double uh, 2U zero key. So that one's good. It turned red. This is the period that's next to it. Here is the enter that I have on the side. That looks good. And I think you can see it. I'm just trying to look. Yeah. So if you actually look on the, uh, and that should be a little bit better. If you actually look in the top right, you can see as I hit each one of these, and I'm going to try and do it to the left so that you can see it kind of, you know, concurrently. But you can see each one of those is responsive, meaning that the traces, the wires that are underneath the board are all set correctly, meaning that I don't have a defective board. So everything is looking pretty Good right now We've gotten through haven't had any issues yet yet being the keyword this plus looks good now it's on nine nine looks good eight seven seven oh, but there it is now this should be number lock nice and then our divide sign multiplication sign that looks good minus sign and then the top row and these can what's cool about this program you can see an entire layout um on the screen in the top right i can actually through this program that's called via it's a really really cool firmware loading program i can do all kinds of configuration so if i wanted to make one of those if i wanted to make this top left one page up or something what i can do is just go into this configure button and then just rock through it which is pretty cool so i'm going to do that. So that button top left is escape. Next one is left control. So I definitely don't want that there. That's interesting. Next one's left alt. Who knows what the heck this one's going to be, but backspace. So with that, you can do a bunch of different things, which is pretty cool. Want to become famous? Buy followers, primes, views on bigfollows.com. Daddy, please get me follow. Get out of here, N680. I don't need no bot shit in here. We're here to just have a good time. I'm not trying to get famous off of Twitch streaming. But for real, if you're trying to give me some free follows, I mean, hit your boys up. Tell them to come through. We're having fun here in Stainless. Sh get it. So, what we were able to do is kind of just confirm that all of the, the metal contacts on this PCB are working. So, I just went through, verified that all of them had been configured and do work. So I feel pretty pretty confident about that, which is good because now I can start actually rocking. Also, I gotta tell the, whoever this person is, N680122LI1, get the hell out of here. 
buy followers. Pfft, what does this look like? Handouts? None of that. But anyway. So, I already did the cool part of putting the stabilizers in. And what I'm going to do next is I'm actually just going to start putting some switches in. And what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to mount the switches inside of my plate. And the reason I'm going to do that is because, obviously I can't do it here because I have to put the plate on. And the receptacles are just like perfectly fit. What I can do is I can just throw these switches right in. They'll snap in. No matter if I move it, whatever, shake it, groove it. Legit AF. Yeah, seriously. Can uh, can we get this kid a legit AF? Want to become famous, dude? That's like if you're going on like a porn site and they're telling you like, locals in your area want to meet up with you. Like, I wish I had a face cam so I could just zoom in directly on my face and say there is absolutely nobody. And I mean nobody on a porn site, on YouTube, on Twitch, that is going to come into your comment or come into your comments, tell you to go to some website, and that all of your dreams are going to come true. Call me crazy, but I just have this feeling that that is not the case. Listen, you can prove me wrong. If this person brings in 600 followers, listen, maybe maybe I'll have to take back everything I say and feel like a total dumbass. But until then, I got a feeling I might be right. So no shilling, we don't need no followers in here. We're just trying to have a good time. If you guys are trying to learn a little something, hell yeah. Just kind of kicking back. I'm drinking a little beer. Soldering a number pad. This should be pretty cool. So what I'm going to do right now is make sure that all my switch orientations are correct, right? So if you look, they're all what would be leads are north facing. So my leads are on the top side. I'm just going to make sure that when I put it in here, the metal contacts. There's two buttons right here. I the... oh. Two leads right there. What we're looking for is for those two leads to be on the high side, the north side of the of the plate. Just because when I push it down, obviously, if it's not in the right configuration, what's going to happen is those pins are going to bend, and I'm going to break a break a switch. Uh, farms, <laughs> farm singles, exactly. Like. Come meet farmers in your area. <laughs> I mean, I, listen, I might be outdated. Maybe I'm old, but I just got a feeling that those aren't real people and they're bots that are going to steal your credit card information and then make you basically pay for their, like, one-way ticket from Russia to America. Never talk to you again. And that's no hate. And listen, if, if you're a mail-order bride from Russia in here, no hate. We don't hate anyone in this, in, in, in this chat, but... I mean, let's be honest, the only way Russian mail order brides are getting over here is through scams like that, so we're not going to buy it. Nobigfollows.com. We're not going to that. It's hilarious that that got commented in here, though. Actually, <laughs> But anyway, what's good, guys? Jag dude, shout out you. Keeping the chat lit. Only one. An absolute warrior. If you guys don't, go follow Home Drone 360 on Facebook, on Instagram specifically. My buddy Jared takes some freaking awesome pictures. Um, this is just like a totally shameless show for my boy, but he's in here commenting. No one else is commenting. That's what I'm talking about. But yeah, go follow him. Jared actually does some awesome stuff with drone photography. And, uh, if you want to give it a look, go ahead. There's my plug. My plug's done for the day. I'm not doing that anymore. Maybe. 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 No promises, but I'm gonna try and also. Damn it! Right. Get a couple more switches other than just this plain, this flat 40. This. Add in. And honestly, the plate tolerances on this are really nice because I don't have to just push these into. No end. There's some places where the tolerance, meaning that the divot, the cut that they make for you to fit all of your switches into, um, they're just a little too tight. So when the switch tries to switch through, you gotta push through with like excessive force, and that sucks if you have to do that. The tolerances are right, and these are actually really nice. You don't have to like super push on anything at all, actually. Push down. It's really, really. Damn it, I am going to be one switch short. So close. So close. Yet so far. 
this. Actually, I don't need to put these in. These are actually the ones I'm going to put in last. The reason for that is because I've got stabilizers. Okay. Boy, Jared with the awesome emotes. Love it, buddy. Hopefully that plug gets you a couple followers. Boy's been doing some great work the last few weeks. He's been making commercials. He's been saving the world. I mean, listen, no biggie. He's not, not a superhero or anything. He's just basically a modern day version of the superhero. Don't add him. Homedrone360.com. Boy right there. Boy right there. Yeah, we're gonna just uh, see if we can get this thing to sit in. Ooh, and it actually is sitting in pretty nice. I'm gonna flip this over, make sure that I can see through. So, the last two things I'm going to do, or the last three things I guess I'm going to do, are plug in the 2U switches. Plug that one in there. Plug this one here. And then the other one, I'm just going to grab another switch real quick, so hold on. Just grab this out of my box. In any box of switches. Grab Then when I close this, so this thing. Sweet. All right. So now I have to put my last switch. These are already nice lubed up, ready to be plugged in. Ew. Oh, so everything sitting in very nice. I'm just looking through, and what I'm trying to do, if I show it like that little switch lead that are sticking out, basically show you that it's plugged in. And from looking at it, everything seems to be plugged in right. So, with that, I've already done my testing, I have plugged in my switches, I have put the plate on, um, I can unscrew this eventually, but honestly everything's kind of ready to go for me to actually solder on these, uh, what's it called, these switches onto the plate in the PCB. Once that's done, then we've got a working, we've got ourselves a working keyboard, should be good. Driver fits perfect. I think these are size size one screws. Super, super small. Do get all the screw hardware sitting in one location. That way I don't lose anything. Also make sure that I right way to mount this inside of there beforehand. Just to This stream shouldn't be taking too long today, guys. I think it'll only be an hour total. We're already at a half hour. I really don't have all that much else. I'm gonna go through the soldering. I'm gonna check. I'll actually make sure that once it is all soldered, put together, good, that everything works. But yeah, this is just a cool, simple little thing. To I see exactly how this is gonna come out. Perfect. I'm gonna do those over to the side, screws right here, and now, dun -dun -dun, it's time to solder. So, what I have is a pretty cool uh, little soldering gun, so this is called a TS-100, and a TS-100 is a USB, or actually, just kidding, I have a TS-8, um, and what this is, this is what it looks like. It has an audio input, so it literally just looks like a normal audio jack. And that actually goes in this side. Plug that in. 
And then on the other side is a USB-C connector. And that USB-C connector, basically my phone charges off a USB-C connector. The cool thing about this is I can take a portable battery and have a portable soldering gun wherever I need it to go. And I mean, before probably three or four years ago, that wasn't exactly a normal thing. And nowadays, just kind of with the way the technology's progressed, we've got all these really, really cool things that have came out. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, I, got, I, pick, I pick myself up one. I'll probably get a Hako, which is, Hako's actually who makes this. Um, they're, they're a really, really good soldering iron company. And I'll probably end up getting a, a, a Hako at, at some point. But right now, I'm just, a, I'm just a noob. And I got some good, and I got some good stuff at work, so I don't really have to worry about doing it right now. Which is a good thing. But, I have to take a swig. Get myself a nice little bit of cores. So what I'm going to do is I am going to prep my solder. So what you want to do is you want to have a nice enough strand where I can hold my soldering, my soldering iron, one hand, and basically with a, a nice long lead, push in as I solder this into each one of the uh, each one of the receptacles. So that's what I'm going to do is I've got this all prepped. Got this, which is actually going to be used for cleaning the soldering iron. So what I'm going to be doing is this thing heats up to like, you know, pretty absurd heat, like 300 degrees. And we're going to melt metal. And that metal is going to, you know, secure a contact between the metal lead on the switch and the underside of the PCB, which handles all of the logic and communicates with your computer. So when I heat that up inside of this receptacle, that metal is going to melt in a circle and it's going to attract to all the other metal, AKA the lead. And you never want to put too much solder. You want to put just enough so that there's you know, good contact made. And then when that's done, move on to the next one. So what I'm going to do, I plug this in, got a cool OLED screen. Not too clear, but what I've got happening right now is my soldering iron is, is, is heating up, which is pretty cool. I'm actually going to let that sit over here, um, just because I don't have to worry about that. Always going to take another swig real quick. And now, we're going to get close to... Um, Sorry, guys. Just uh, setting this really quickly. So I'm situated like that, then. Put it in. Forward button. Start to heat up. And heat temperature at like 87, 100. So, and I'm not, and this isn't in Fahrenheit, by the way. This is in Celsius. So, I mean, 30 Celsius is like 100 degrees Fahrenheit. I think it's a little more. I think it's like 33 degrees Celsius is equal to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. This thing's going to heat up, and I actually solder at a lower temperature. A lot of people will solder in the 350 to 400 degrees. Um, I have actually really good solder. So, if you guys are ever looking to solder anything, you should get audio equipment. This is Cardist Audio soldering or basically uh um not soldering solder and really good all audio equipment kind of requires really really high and, and reliable um high end solder so if you ever need to solder and you want to get something that's actually you know in really really good condition um definitely the way to go is to get something and this cardis is really good stuff so um that's what we uh that's what we work with so what i'm really quickly gonna do is I'm going to just do a little test, make sure that, so as you guys can see, got ourselves solder melting off. Thing. Oh, and you know what I need to do? I definitely need to get a fan going, actually. So the one thing about solder, I'm going to open my window up, and I'm also going to get my fan, but the one thing about solder is that you want to make sure that you 
ventilate because there's there's lead and tin so the what makes solder solder is that it's a much lower melting point metal and lead is a, a very very flexible metal and it's very very easy to use so what they do is they put lead as one of the metals that goes into solder and on top of that everyone probably knows that you know you, you don't want to be inhaling stuff like lead or anything like that so basically I'm just gonna have a little fan going. I got I got myself a portable fan. I'm gonna put that in the corner. Start this thing. That way, it's at, it's at least gonna be uh, blowing in the direction of my um, what's it called? In the direction of my uh, of my window. That way, I don't have to worry too. Much. What I'm gonna do is I have a little bit of solder that's actually stuck on my tip, so I'm going to. Take this metal and melt it off and clean that because what i don't want to do is have a bunch of tips that end up like spraying and falling inside of the actual number pad itself so now that we've got that i'm gonna get my hand underneath we should be good to go so the first thing that i'm gonna do whenever i solder is i put just a second of contact onto the metal and then i push a little bit of solder on there that one actually did not hit right. So, do. There's one. That's better. So it just filled up, and if you can actually see it, um, so what you want is a cone. You want a nice cone whenever you're soldering. And the reason for that is that you don't want it to sit inside of a pool. You want to just make sure that the connect, like I said, you use as, as little as possible. That way, see, that was actually not a good thing to do is actually melt that off. That's better. What just happened is I had a nice, perfect cone form. And when you do that, then you start getting into the rhythm of it, and you have, basically have to push solder through. And I'm trying to make sure that I have too much bleed over onto the side where the uh, where the metal contact. Doing. That's a nice one right there. Another one right here. See, and that was a bad one. So what I'm gonna do is clean off my tip. That's good. That's a very nice connection. Very nice solder. So sweet. Next one up. Only thing about this one is that it's right next to the uh, the connector. So I want to make sure that I don't do anything bad for the connector. I also want to make sure that it's a good connection. That came through nice. Both sides are actually looking pretty flush. Good. Next up. So what happened, so on this one that I just did, um, kind of cool. So it actually pulled up a little bit. And what you end up wanting to do is let your soldering iron sit on it for a second. And that way, it actually gets to form that cone. If you ever have a little bit of excess, since your soldering iron's at like 300 degrees or whatever, you just have it sit on there and it'll basically melt anything off and those impurities and stuff will basically get on the end of your soldering iron and stuff. So if you ever have too much solder, there's there's a pretty good way of, of being able to being able to connect those two. That was actually a bad one. That's why we do this, guys. Because we're trying to get better. A little bit better. That was good. That was good. Let that air blow. That was a good one. Ooh, that was a little ugly. So what we have to do is melt a little bit of that down. Actually, just that little bit of extra that helped it form nice. So, I'm gonna get myself a little more slack. 
Oh yeah, and I realized that when I was just looking down at that. Totally just blocked it with my head. That's it. So, next up is this. I guess I just want to make sure that it's nice and straight. That was good. All right, so honestly guys, all of these have been looking pretty good so far. Just push this down, make sure that everything makes a nice snug connection. Now, rock again. So we've done about six of these switches. Clean that off a little bit. There are about six of these switches, so what I'm going to do is. That's a little better. That. Now that we're getting in the groove. take a look at everything make sure that it's all uh that all the connections are being made Ooh, interesting i don't see this switch there it is so sorry if you guys can hear my my fan blowing into the blowing into the mic rather safe than sorry you know that was a good one was a really good one. Oh, guys, we're cooking now. We are cooking. Yo, thanks for chilling, everyone who's watching. Even I've, I haven't looked in a minute, but even if it's just one of you, yo, thanks a lot for sticking around. This is actually dope. Five people. Hell yeah. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. This just allows me to kind of stay accountable and, and make sure that I stay up and do this stuff. And on top of that, just kind of want to do it in front of an audience. I'd rather do. It. Friends. I don't think any any randoms are watching. So thanks, guys. No. So I had a bunch of smoke coming off on that one. Anytime that you see a little bit of smoke, that's when you know. That's when you're gonna be like, meh. Got a little extra solder sitting on the end of the tip. So bad joke. Bad joke. Don't hate me for that, please. Please. All right. Woo! Guys, we're cooking now. sucked that was hilarious out here talking a bunch of junk like i'm oh yeah this is going great and then just shoot an absolute air ball <laughs> but hey, that's okay. Ooh, that one's better that one was nice and smoky that's how you know i had, had a little extra a little something extra I just got all of my big enter key ones or two you keys. Which is a good thing. Just trying to make sure all of them. Oh guys. 
Now I am rolling. nice and easily. Sweet! Good one. Three for three. Batting pretty solid, guys. just about does it for soldering these switches on. What I'm going to really quickly do before I unplug this and get everything go, uh, basically wrapped up from the soldering side of things is I'm going to count and make sure that I didn't leave any um, unsoldered. So I've got one, two, and I should have, I had 21 switches, two leads each, so I should have 41 or 42 solder connections. I count them off that I see. I've got one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, thirteen. I actually see, I see a couple that I think I just need to do a little bit better on. Get those to melt. Melt down a little bit of the, uh, solder. That was way better. That was a little bit thick. Whoa. Solid. Nice. Little bit extra on that one. Think. Think right. Think. That one. These are all good. I think. They're good to go. Guys, let's go. That is a full SJ. If you want to know what that stands for, it rhymes with sandwich job. No, I'm just kidding. Solder job. And honestly, I'm pretty pleased with how it worked out. Looks pretty solid. So I'm going to 
gonna do is actually sit for a second. This this iron was actually just sitting on. It was nice and hot, so I'm plugging it, letting that rest for a second. Let's turn this over. about this thing is actually looking great now they're both stuck together metal connection solder together okay looks good and look all nice flush down there looks good we'll look at the other side and make sure this side Bottom looks pretty good. Top, top looks good. Guys, perfect. So, here's what we got right here is we have a KVD pad, Make 2, Mark 2. And in it, I have lubed Holy Pandas, Rita, 5 Green Hero, Industrial Lubricant, I didn't know. Lube my Holy Pandas with that. I also have KVD fans, just normal Duroc stabs. These are plate mounts, They're not screw in, but the plate mount. And I lube those with 205G0 as well. And this thing is actually looking pretty solid. So what I'm gonna do right now, get my bottom plate set. This is the bottom plate. I'm just gonna put it right in the center of here. I'm just gonna turn off my fan as well. I will do is I'm going to start grabbing the hardware, aka the, the mounting hardware that I need on the inside of the case. So, this also came in a bag, a little baggy, a little baggy of goodies. And inside of here are a bunch of screws. And what I do with these screws is these screw holes right there, screw holes right there, is I'm just going to be able to screw these in. Oh, it's duh. It's because it's top mounted. So I mounted it actually on the top face of it. As you can see, I have these four little, like, little fish eyes. Four fish eyes, kind of just drop these right into their receptacle. And what I'm going to do on there, screw four of these screw screws, and that will allow me to, that will screw any, um, screw the plate and the PCB into the actual mounting end, jiggle, this. Now, screw pull. Start plate mount. Mountain plate. So you, just, you you never have to screw anything in the super super tightest that you can, and that goes with anything. You, you want to do is just enough to secure it because what that does is that prevents you from breaking the actual screw um That's so 
screws. Just totally strip. Deal. I've dealt with enough screw screws in my life to that I'm not gonna use that. Fortunately, it came with a bunch of extra screws. Just really good. Steal one of these. That way. I ever have to unscrew this or do anything, I don't have to worry about it. Okay. I want it. That one. Back in the box. Oh, grab another screw. That front face I think actually looks pretty darn good. So the last thing that I gotta do, da -da -da. that real quick. I'm gonna close this thing up. You now place the bottom on. sound, but most people care about show. I could open up my fresh, brand spanking new GK 9009 R3. It's a great color set. It's uh, like beige, off-white, and then a, uh, like a, a green, like a light green and a light red two-tone accent. So that looks great, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it match my GMK Metropolis, because I have the number pad for that. Let's see how this thing looks. All put together, all purdy. This. Acceptable. Bang. Guys, there it is. The KBD pad. Mark II in all black. I got it with KBD fan stabilizers. I got holy pant drop holy pandas in here. And this thing is pretty much ready to roll. Oh, that's awesome. And you know what? Your boy's chugging a Coors Light. Because sometimes need a little victory sip. A little victory sip. I'm so to see, actually, the quality of the stream is actually coming through pretty solid. That's all good by, that's good by me in all respects. I'm pretty stoked about that. Hello! Look at that. Here are all my, uh, all my numbers. Basically all the extra, all extra keys that I have for my, uh, my uh what's it called gmk metropolis set what i'm gonna do is try and find the right keys for this so i'm gonna try and get everything that isn't my space bars out of here i'm gonna have a whole bunch of random ones i'll get my space bars in there and what's cool is 
we get to decide kind of what we want. I'm going to start putting some caps over to the left-hand side that I don't want to end up using, or that I don't need to end up using. That's what all these are going to be. But I don't need control. Um, I don't need end. But what I do need are things like zero. Um, and funny enough, I actually am not going to use this because I'm going to use the double 2U. So it's the double the size of a 1U cap like this. Um, zero. That should be somewhere, but try and find that real quick. So there's a control. Here's escape. Here's F. All of these. So this is this is the two U zero. Two U zero is go right here. Oi! Guys, I wish I had a face cam. Sounds so great. Stabilizer art isn't rattling. The classic holy panda sound. Nice and deep. Oh, guys, let's go. Man, I'll tell you, for these streams, being my first time kind of just rocking through these things, I've been having surprisingly less or, or, like, fewer issues than I figured I was going to. I thought I was going to have so many, like, hiccups and random things that just went wrong. It's actually been going pretty solidly. Pretty solidly. So let me see. I got the four, zero, one, four. Here's that. Nine. Nine. Bang. What else do I got? What else do I one right here. Here is a six three six nine. Damn two five. Okay, next up. Ooh, I've got a scooped five. So what a scooped five is, is it's super scooped, as you can tell. And I'm not a huge scoop fan, just because my finger is gonna get little bit if you look at the profile this one's just so much more like bent up like a u as opposed to these these are a little flatter i'm not a huge huge fan of scoop caps just pull that off real quick put that to the side seven okay Next. So here is my period. That I'm thinking. I think that's the correct, the correct one, but I'm not 100% sure. So chill out for a hot minute. So I get all these other ones plugged in. That way, feel a little bit more confident with everything that we're gonna have in. So here's the normal five, and, and this has got a, a bump on it got the little ridge on it that's what i like to be able to know where the home row basically where, where the center is I feel that as opposed to the giant scoop the scoop almost feels out of place so i tend personally to not like it totally up to preference everyone kind of likes their own individual stuff so the next thing that i get to decide and if anyone is watching totally straight if you're all kind of just like sitting there stream sniping but if you're watching um, I'll ask what color you guys want to use for the return. So it's going to be right over here. I actually don't know what I want to do. I've got pretty much all of the, the major colors that are in Metropolis on my original or on my actual like normal keyboard. So depending on kind of what we're feeling, I get to customize what we want over on the side. So I'll ask you guys if, you know, I'll give it a minute, two minutes if you guys have any any suggestions awesome that's dope if you have absolutely nothing to say trust me i'm only gonna cry about it for four hours later so it's like pretty much you don't have anything to lose <laughs> oh guys came out so good came out so good stoked so there's my period and i've got multiplication subtraction Next up is division. But definitely don't get super high profile. At 
that symbol. F my plus. I think that's it, guys. Caps. Sweet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the yellow plus sign right over here on the left hand side. Looks so nice. I'm stoked how this came out. Really, this kind of blew it. my expectations away a little bit. It was this nice. Everything really, really showed up. Oh, so very, very stoked. Might even put a super key on here. But what I'm thinking of doing is putting the blue return because that'll match my space bar really nice but I can also do is uh, put this on which looks sleeker I think because it's got the same exact uh, uh, so something that is kind of just a little a little nitpicky, doesn't need to, but I noticed it. It's just good to know for the future. So this this return is actually a little bit tilted, so it's not a straight line going up. And what you can do, that's actually with the way that the switch is sitting in the solder. So if I could, I'm able to only four hours. I don't know what four hours in reference to, but ah, my dude, what's good, bro? Thanks for hopping on. This is lit. I'm I'm, I'm stoked you showed up. Um. But my, the options are I get to do this, which is the all dark blue option, or the light blue option that matches my space bar. And actually, now that I've looked at it a little bit, I'm kind of starting to favor the light blue. But you guys, you guys say, Jack, dude, you actually had something to, what's it called? Had something to say, which is dope. So I'll let you make the final call. But... I'm not going to worry about that one for right now. So what I want to look for is number lock. To do that, you said only cry for four hours. I feel like my opinion not being decided should tell more tears. Oh my god, I forgot I said that. I'm just for that dude. I'll add an extra hour. Screw it. I'm a, I'm a man of the people. You know, I'm here to give. And if I get to give an extra hour of tears, man, you know what? I can do it. I can just do it. Yeah, that's a grown man talking about how he can just do it, aka can just cry for hours. That that's 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 just delightful. That's delightful. So I think those are all of them. I'm actually short one key, I think. Nope, just kidding, maybe not. I'm looking for the division. Where is my division? AKA it's just one single small slash. Am I just being dumb? Can you guys see it anywhere? Not this one. That's a that's a one U. Lit blue like the Rocky. Say no more, man. This sucker's going right on. I love the way that looks. That's so clean. I think that's really, really nice. But yeah, I'm missing just like I think being blind. But there should be a just a slash or or a division number sign. You really no, that's way too bad. far too big. Should have yellow writing. And that's not it. Hmm. This is the these right here are what I'm looking for. Smaller style. Minus right up there. Multiplication too big. Three are just a little too high up in the profile. Yeah, I feel like I'm just being dumb right now, and I can't I can't see it for some reason. Oh. No, no, no. I look, I don't see it anywhere. So maybe this is. Hmm. Searching. 
because these are actually the three that I would need to use, and they would actually fit correctly. One thing is that they're just a little higher profile. I just see two, two of the same in that blue. Yeah, I, I don't know where it is. I'm not sure where it is. Either way, these are the ones that I want, right? This is the number lock. Here is the subtraction. I think subtraction's on the right. I'll fix this all later. Actually, nah, profile-wise, this is correct. So I was just being dumb, guys. Nice and easy. That's that's all you need to know. Which is still being a giant dummy. No biggie. But oh guys, this looks so good. It looks so good. I'm stoked. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to put some of my favorite artisans on this, I think. I think Oh, it sounds so nice. So these are really nice switches. I'm pretty stoked that I just got those popped up. Very nice. What I'm going to do is I am going to put some cool artisans on. And you know what? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pick a couple of these. I've got some sweet ones. I'm leaving the Salvador in the corner because it's Metropolis theme. Favorite cap I've got. Matches the cool keyboard perfect. I'm going to take a couple of these suckers off. I'm actually thinking I might do these two Salvadors and these two Orochis. So basically... Very cool little dragon. Or, uh, not dragon, but like a lion. And over here are these these cats, and they're called Salvadors. Pretty cool. I th I'm thinking that's probably what I'm gonna grab. I could... I love this. The Bull V2 might be my favorite artist in I own. Just like a super, super nice one. But I'd also really, really like to just have two matching. So I'm thinking of doing two Salvadors, two Orochis, Call that a day for the last four keycaps that I got on top. You know what? I'm not even going to say anymore. That's what I'm going to do. Speaking to me. I had the idea. It didn't do exist. One. actually come in pretty cool colors so this is like a it's a red red and blue and an almost purple see-through tint and this is green this really cool emerald green and white both of those actually are are, are kind of matching i love the way that these look though they're so cool you've got these awesome sculpt just this like badass lock thing pretty sweet make me want to build a keyboard here man dude don't don't tempt me Bro, one of these days, if I get, like, five people... Actually, there's six people. Shit, I can't say. If I get, like... I mean, I already had ten people watch me one time. If I can get, like, 15 people to watch me... Dude, I'm gonna give away a keyboard. And Adam, it's got your name written all over it, bro. So listen. Just, uh, keep yourself ready, because it might be coming your way, man. I'm just saying. But actually, man, yeah, if, you ever, if you're ever looking for anything... It's kind of just a cool hobby, just to, just to kind of show a little bit of your personality... I, I personally like it. I think it's pretty sweet. Clipped. <laughs> yeah, gonna hold me to that. I'm gonna have to build some, give someone a keyboard. <laughs> Rip my wallet. <laughs> but then I got these sweet Salvador. I love these things. I'm gonna just actually put the white one in the middle. Just have the white, uh, white faces transition over. Then, Dolce Salvador next. Ooh, look at that. Ramsey! The young lad! <laughs> Let's go. Look at that. Guys, I believe that is what we call a complete build. That is KBD fans. KBD Pad Mark II with a couple of Dylan fingerprints on there. You already know. It'll be worth absolutely zero dollars. But yeah, it's actually looking really nice, right? Cool, good profile, looking at the side. Oh man, this thing is awesome. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Seriously, this is sweet. Boys, if you haven't already, this is the one time I'm gonna shill. Give your boy a follow. Hit that follow button if you can, that would be dope. Get my follower count over 15. 
How about I buy the parts and pay for shipping here to Cali, throw in a tip, and you build it? Bro, say less. I will 100% do that. Would love to do that, man. No BS. If you're just joking around, that's totally straight. But if you're serious, dude, let me know. For real. I would love to do that. I've got some great suggestions for, for nice, you know, cost-effective boards. Would love to build it on stream. You could literally watch me build it, you know? And if, if you have any sort of inclination to do that, seriously, man, give me a shout. I'd love to. That'd be so awesome. I just like doing it, you know? It's just a fun little thing. Allows me to whip out my soldering iron. I get to just mess around for the day. Also, just got wrecked at work today, so... Kind of feels good to come home and do something a little productive that it's to relax, listen to a little bit of lo-fi hip-hop beats, and I'll talk to you guys. So, no issue. I'll do this for free. Seriously, I will do it for free for anyone that ever wants that, so don't sweat it at all. But that's lit, man. Adam, also, hope you're doing well, bro. Hope California's treating you well. I saw there was crazy fires going on over there. Hope you and the fam are staying safe and, you know, everything's going well for you guys over there. Jared, I see you in here, bro. You and me, we're going to be playing some Apex. We're, we're, we're getting a diamond tonight. Don't add us. Oh, you know what the last thing I got to do? I got to put pads on. I got to put the little feet on this sucker. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I don't want you put feet on. So. Actually, that's why. Boy, boy, is this showing out real nice? Two more. Once I get this, damn, that's going to be a complete number pad. Everything, soup to nuts, all done in like less than an hour, too. That was a nice... Relaxing, easy build, way less stress. I totally thought I was going to have a bunch of, like, craps and not do well. Dude, seriously. Adam, where are you at, bro? Playing some Apex. All good if you're busy, but, like, you know that me and Jared are going to rag on you, dude. Always want to have a couple extra fellas in the squad. Flexing ourselves. I sold my main PC. Looking to do a new theme. 3D. Dude, the 30 series. You have to go the route of building a new keyboard to match. We can always discuss details in the Discord if needed in the near future. Dude, would love that. Seriously, say less. You you let me know. I'm always down. I'll be there to listen. If you hit us in Discord, I'll definitely be there. But bro, let's let's be honest for a second while I got you guys on here. Those 30 series cards are absolutely absurd. Literally just like the craziest thing ever. NVIDIA is just going to crush competition with that. I don't even think it's going to be debatable. They are going to crush it with that. I'm also kind of trying to get it myself because of the specs on that. Dude, the 3070 that's got literally the same exact specs as a 2080, RTX 2080 Super, just kind of blew my mind. For the for half the price, I have no idea how they managed to do that. Because those older graphics, the RTX graphic cards are amazing. They're so nice. I can't believe they were able to cut costs the rate that they did that's that's like kind of next level right there but anyway anyway that's just me kind of ranting a little bit i just want cyber cyberpunk in rtx yeah man seriously i don't know I, I think that the the release date got pushed back a little bit so i think it might be coming in november or something i don't know if that's what they said but either way that game is gonna look so spicy it's gonna look so good but so yeah, guys, I'm gonna start putting all my keycaps away. I'm gonna keep the stream rolling, but honestly, we're coming to a close right now. That was awesome. That was seriously I'm so happy that we did that, and I'm glad you guys stuck around, even if you were just stream swiping. Had the chat going, Jared and Adam, MVPs. I wish I could. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put something up where I can just put chat MVP up, and I just get to vote at the end and say who the chat MVP is totally at my discretion and i can totally just be a boner about it but i think i'm gonna do that that'd be kind of kind of fun but anyway ramsey even threw chat, a chat in here you love to see it um but yeah oh you know what the last thing i gotta do i need to dun, 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 make sure that everything is 
running correctly. So I'm actually going to run my key tester one more time. Plug it in. Ooh. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So that just worked. I'm going to put on via again. That way you guys can see me test these. Let me see. That works. That works. Enter works. Plus works. Minus works. Also, boys, I got it right. I got the orientation, multiplication, division, minus. Was not thinking that was going to be the case. Oh, all these work perfect, guys. That is so dope. Let me just escape, roll, alt, backspace. I'm going to figure out kind of what I want to map these to. Let me do this. I like that as escape. And I like that as backspace. But this... I'm going to use... You know what? I'm gonna make that page up. And I'm gonna make that page down. Back. Thanks. Look at my key tester. Page up, page down. Backspace. Escape. Oh, let's go. Guys, this sounds so good. I'm so stoked. I'm so stoked. Loving the way those keycaps look there. Dude, thanks, man. I love, 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 love the Metropolis theme. It is my hands down favorite theme. I literally have like 15 key sets that are on the way, and still none of them hit the same way that Metropolis did for me. Metropolis just, and that's, that's obviously what the color of this is, but oh, it's just so nice, man. Appreciate you saying that. I, I, I like them too. They're really nice. But here is full set. I gotta do it real quickly, guys. Put my function key back. So this devourer is <laughs> not trying to move. Yeah, there it is. Okay. I was able to take that. It's gonna go on F12. And I got another artisan that I'm gonna break out. I love this one, this one's cool. So this is called the Ronin. This is a Key Labs artisan keycap. And it's a little bonsai bear. <laughs> it's just a polar bear. He's got a bonsai hat on, he's so awesome. But I'm gonna let him kind of rock right there. And then I'm gonna put all my function keys back on. So I need what, F6, F7, F8? F7. Here is. Oh, totally messed that one up. <laughs> I could count. There is a complete build, guys. That right there is my rig for home. So I'm currently typing on a GMK, a GMMK, uh, ten keyless board glorious mechanical keyboard um it is a like i said oh are you sure you want the nope cancel that um it's a hot swap keyboard means i can pull the switches out without having to soldering like i did on this um but it's got gmk metropolis on it i've got the cool little color scheme this is what i chose but i can customize as you guys go to sleep and like your keys i can rock that um i got some cool artisans on it these are by alpha keys right here this is by art key this is by Art Key. This is by Key Labs. All really reputable, cool artisan keycap makers. Over here is what I just built. This is the ABD fan. Smart Make 2 ABD pad. Built with Metropolis. I have a couple cool artisans on top. Love these. Key Forge and Alpha Keys. And yeah, that's soup to nuts with some Metropolis too. So this whole thing kind of just matches perfectly with the black. So stoked with the way that this turned out. I mean, the whole thing, soldering, putting it together, plate, every, and mounting it, it all was so easy. Really, really good, clean, came together nice and easy. Super stoked with the build, guys. Really, really stoked with the build. I appreciate everyone sticking around. This was, this was a lot of fun. Warped one screw, but I came with like 10 extras, so that was the one detriment of this entire stream. The one thing that went wrong was that I warped one single screw. I mean, 
listen, that's pretty solid. And it's 7 p.m. Still got the whole night about uh, ahead of me. I'm gonna get myself a good dinner, chill out, play a couple video games, play hit the boys up, kind of go from there. So, yeah, I think honestly on that, guys, I'm going. Actually, what I'm gonna do real quick is just clean off my desk. That way. So good. I'm stoked with the way that it came out. So on that, I'm going to call this a stream, guys. An hour and a half. Everything kind of went pretty smoothly. I really appreciate you all showing up. If you want, throw your boy a follow. That'd be lit. I don't know where you do that. I think it's just like right underneath my stream. If you just hit like the heart button or something like that, that would be dope. Um, outside of that, man, yeah, I really appreciate you guys showing up. Talk to you guys soon. Peace. Oh, wait. Now, peace. <laughs>